hello guys what's up this is me Sir, and I am back with another video of Flash Rail and in this video I will not be doing something stupid something like what I did earlier the all headgear deck sort of a thing but anyways today I will be showing you something useful well hopefully and that is some facts about the princess and how to use the princess card so some you know idea about the princess is that the princess is a legendary card which costs three elixir okay and uh, it has an area damage of 140 and the radius of the area damage it does is almost equal to that of the zap i have here then uh, the princess has a hit speed of three seconds which is the second worst after sparky because the sparky takes exactly five seconds to charge up and then shoot as we can see hit speed five seconds then uh, the princess can uh, target air troops and the ground troops and it has a range of nine which is more than the arena towers so the princess can shoot at the arena tower without getting caught in the range of the arena tower at the same time then the princess has a damage per second of 46 then you know if you multiply 46 into 3 uh, probably it's supposed to be 140 but I don't know I'm not sure about that but anyways yes it has a deploy time of one second uh, and we can find the princess card in arena 7 so yeah now stick around for the facts and how to use the princess card yeah pretty much it for the intro so hmm. so yes guys there I am with the facts about the princess so let's start uh, the first fact is that the princess does not die by the hit of the dark prince only one hit and uh, it's not supposed to be a charge uh, and yeah that's about that's pretty much all about the first fact and now starting with the next fact yes guys there i am with the next fact and the next fact is that the princess has mass damage as i guess i told you and can take down the skarmy or to say the skeleton army pretty well uh, because of its area damage and is uh, also good against spear goblins if uh, it's not locked on the arena tower as you could see right there otherwise the princess is really good against those spear goblins as well with area damage the princess can kill the spear goblins in just one hit and uh, yeah so okay guys here i am again and the this is this one is really cool the princess can take out a whole skarmy and you know after cloning the skarmy as well that is like having 40 skeletons on the map the princess easily can take out those even the zap would you know almost be able to take out the skarmy but not completely the zap would be able to take out the take out a big Part from the skarmy and the clone of it but would not be able to take it out completely and the princess uh, surely does better than the zap though the arrows would be better and the log would obviously completely take out the skarmy but anyways over here we are talking about the facts of the princess so yeah that's pretty much for this replay and okay guys so in this replay uh, it's the fact about the minion horde the princess can take out the minion horde uh, with being in that very lane because if the princess is in the other lane the minion horde will not get distracted with the princess and the minion horde would get uh, some shorts and would around uh, you know cost you the hit points of somewhere 250 and uh, I guess that's uh, not a lot but actually that's close to one hit of the electro electro wizard I was about to say electrox but anyways so as you can see over here I have planted the princess and that minion horde okay that's a lot more than 250 I guess 
Okay, I was wrong. That's a lot more than 250. The princess uh, does uh, not take out the minion horde because the minion horde is pretty fast and uh, they, you know, get some hits on the tower. So if there's a minion horde coming in, I would really prefer if you plant the princess in that very row and uh, the princess should be able to get at least one hit on the minion horde and then there you have it you know you'll win okay so there's the minion horde again and by cloning also by all uh, by also cloning the minion horde uh, the princess was able to take out the minion horde but you know then there's a condition the minion horde should be coming a little far from the bridge it should not be on the bridge or in front of the bridge it should be behind the bridge and the princess should be able to take one shot on the minion horde and then surely the princess would be able to take out the minion horde now over here i have a very strong combo coming in and as you can see there right there the princess was able to take out that extremely strong uh, combo but you know there were again two princesses not one and now obviously i'm having a big princess combo and great they all die wow i was having a great combo right there that was pretty shocking and all of those princesses die suddenly because of uh, that a bomb from the balloon and uh, that's pretty scary and uh, yeah that's that's one weakness from the princess it would be able to take out uh, sorry the princess would die if uh, the balloon's death bomb hit the princess so you know that's i'd consider that i'll consider a weakness but anyways so yes guys this is pretty much all for the replay i guess yeah so yes guys and yes guys that was pretty much it for today's video i will be making more videos so please like and subscribe thank you for all those subscribers i have been shooting up at a high rate so yeah peace out guys